by way of a uh, closing comment, uh, I do think that the, the comments a number of folks have made with regard to the perception of safety is very important and it's something that um, uh, we need to do better at. People should feel safe. So I stood up at the beginning and talked about statistics. There's some value to looking at the statistics, but it's also important that people feel safe in the city. So I can tell you that the number of homicides today are, what, uh, maybe a quarter of what they were 20 years ago. That doesn't make anybody feel better. Um, and I think there are a number of strategies that we need to be looking at that uh, can um, make law enforcement more effective. Uh, whether it's some of the ideas that Councilmember Allen talked about with regard to legislation that a number of us co-introduced to try to look at some of the root causes of crime uh, or some of what I touched on in my opening remarks uh, about how we need to look at what we're doing with um, prosecuting individuals so that we're being more effective using the law as um, more ably as a deterrent and uh, also more successfully in terms of getting criminals, particularly repeat offenders, off of the streets. I, I do think there's a lot more we can do. And uh, sometimes when I, I look at these individual cases and look at the person who's been arrested 17 times and he's 22 years old, and, and many of those arrests are for violent offenses, uh, you just gotta wonder where, where are these holes in the system and why can't we fix them? Between the police, who have a half a billion dollar budget, and the U.S. Attorney, who's got a half a billion dollar budget, and the rest of law enforcement. Thank you.